Welcome back, grade two students. Welcome to your science lesson. Now, tell me, students, that uh, what was the topic that we have started yesterday? Remember, I've told you that we have already started a new topic. We are going to start a new topic, and we did start a new topic. And what was that? Yes, it was about seasons, right? And how many seasons are there? There are four seasons, right? Which is and what are they? Winter, correct. Spring, summer, autumn. Very good. These are the four seasons, right? Uh, do all these seasons are uh, uh, do they are uh, do all of them are similar with one another? Are these uh, seasons similar with one another or not? No, they are all different from one another. And what happens if they are different? What do they do? People uh, do people wear the same type of clothes in all these seasons? No, of course not. They will wear. Different clothes, like in winter, they will wear warm clothes with jackets, with uh, with you can say binnies and all that, with to keep themselves warm because in winter it's so so cold. Whereas in summer, they wear short shirts, short sleeves, shorts, and uh, they don't wear warm clothes, right? And what else do we do in the in all these seasons? What else is different? Yes, you don't drink that much cold things in winter season. Whereas in summer seasons, what happens? You like to drink, you like to have some ice cream, you like to have some cold, cold things, right? Because of because it's hot in summertime, right? So what happens in the other season, like in the spring? What happens in spring? How do you uh, how will you describe spring season? Yes, in spring season there are so there is greenery everywhere. Flowers are growing, flowers are blooming. There are uh, so many birds, butterflies are everywhere. Green and everything looks green because it's springtime and flowers are blooming, right? And what else happens? It sometimes rain also, and it's and you you know that you all enjoy rain. Yes, you all enjoy rainy season. So flowers are growing, the drain is there, and everything is looking so, so beautiful, right? And what ha happens in autumn? Autumn, the trees in the, the leaves starts falling down, right? There, and you will find different types of brown, orange, red color leaves falling down from the trees. So that is the autumn season. Or you also call it a fall season, right? So now I'm going to show you a small, a short video on seasons. And again, this video is our annual video. You can watch this video later on, where you can go on the website and then you can watch that video. Okay. So let's see this video and you will see different seasons here. Can you all see my screen children? Okay, there you go. Hello kids, let's learn about the seasons. The seasons that change every few months. The first season, the year starts with winters. Winter, snow and cold weather with different kind of fun in the snow. Then arrives the spring with a lot of flowers everywhere. Things start to grow. Birds on the trees. Very green season. Then comes the summer. The sunny bright summer with a lot of beaches. A lot of vacations. And a lot of fun. It's hot. Then comes autumn, almost at the end of the year, where all the leaves and everything falls down. There's a bit of rain to welcome winters. All right, so that means you have seen all these four seasons here. Now, what we have to learn is how these, uh, how seasons change. 
what happens and how it changes. Why do seasons change? Can you answer this question? Can any one of you just uh, predict how can this, uh, how this uh, seasons change? No. Now remember, I have shown you uh, about. I have shown you the globe and Earth. Yes. Okay. What is this? It's a globe, and but it's our basically it's our Earth, right? And what does Earth do? It keeps on moving. It, it keeps on revolving around its axis. It keeps on moving around the sun. But it doesn't move this fast. It moves very, very slowly, right? And what do I have here? This is, suppose, the sun here. The sunlight is coming to the uh, earth. Now, this we have done so many times. Again, I'm repeating it for you people. Now, see. The earth is moving, it is revolving around the sun's axis and when it is nearer to the sun, we will have summertime because it doesn't remain there. It keeps moving and but it doesn't move that fast. So it takes months and months and months to complete. It takes a whole year to complete the circle. So it's moving and it's like this, moving and moving. So we have summer season, let's say for three months or four months. But when it comes away from the sun, we have a spring season. Then when it moves away, more away from the sun, we have autumn. And when it is more away from the sun, it's going like this, like this, like this. So then when the, there is less sunlight, so we have winter season. Because in winter, you must have seen it is very, very cold, right? And mostly winter times, uh, you don't have that much sunlight. Mostly it is cloudy. But the, it, this is the reason because the earth is a little away from the sun. That is why it is winter time. You understand? Now in the same way, I will show you another, another picture here. And that also is going to help you understand. Now see. This is the sun and this is the earth. Now, earth is moving around. It is revolving around the sun. As I've told you, it takes the whole 365 years to complete the circle. And that is why whenever it's moving, we have different seasons, winter, summer, autumn, spring. Now, here in another picture here, you can easily see how there were the, see the difference, right? Now, this is the sun. This is the earth. Now, in March, we have uh, uh, spring time, spring is ending, spring is ending March, April, and then we have summer time. So you can see uh, this is December, uh, how the sun is away from the earth, and that is why we have winter time. And then after winter, we have summer, then we have May in the in between summer, there is spring, then in June again, it is a little far away, we have spring going on, and then in uh, we have uh, autumn. And in September, uh, again, the fall is uh, still there. And there again, we have winter time, right? Like I have explained you how many times, uh, uh, like you have seen in the video also, that the season starts from winter. Starts from January, January, February, we have winter time. Then March, April, spring time. April, May, June, July, August, summer time. Then September, October is fall time. And November, December is winter time. So this is how season keeps changing. Now, see, this is the sun. And this is the whole orbit. Now you can say this is your earth, how it is moving. This is different seasons. Right? These are all different seasons. You can say this is sun and this is earth. So it keeps on moving and the sun, as the earth keeps on moving around the sun, we have these different seasons. Remember one thing children, that summers are hotter and they are the, the days in summers are hotter and they are longer. Whereas days in winter are colder and they are shorter. We have short days in winter times and long nights. 
and the days are very cold. Whereas in summer, we have long days, short nights, and those days are very, very hot. Okay, this is what you are going to do. You are going to make this diagram in your notebooks and you are going to write it down, which I am writing here, over here on my whiteboard that you can see. Yes. Uh, can you all see my whiteboard here? Yes? Okay. Now, I'll just write it down for you that days, this is, you will write it down, okay? Days in summer are longer and hotter. Then days in winter are shorter and colder. This is what you are going to write. Write down these two lines quickly in your notebooks. Written? Okay. Now what you are going to do, you are going to draw this uh, diagram. You may uh, draw it from the board or you can use your own imagination and draw a nice diagram showing how the earth is revolving around the sun. And we have these different four seasons. Right? So I'm going to give you, let's say, 12 minutes for this task and your time starts now. Okay, time is up, time is up. Show me your drawing. Wow, very good. Okay, very nice. Okay, have you written the, which I have asked you to write it down? All right. So I hope children, it is clear that how that seasons change, how we have different seasons because the earth keeps on removing. So once it is away from the sun, so we have some winter time and we have different seasons as the earth keeps on moving around the, around the sun. And you can easily see that video which I have shown you of seasons and you can easily see the drawing which, we ha uh, which I have shown you the picture from where you can easily uh, make this thing that how we have these different seasons because the earth when it is away we have December, it is near to the sun, we have summer and it keeps on changing like that. Okay, children, so I hope you must have learned something today in the class and you are going to do your homework, which I'll be posting on portal and keep watching the Edward videos. Okay, if they are very helpful. They will give you more and more ideas. They will let you learn more things. So keep watching them, subscribe them, like them. Okay, children. All right, bye-bye.